Yo guys, welcome back to any PDC Geo Fusion Strike video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at my Greedin Checkmate deck in Expanded. I wanted to try out Greedin and Expanded because I think it has potential in Expanded thanks to the fact it works with a DCE and stuff. Um, and I was like, how do we build it? Now, the way I built it is to win the game in three turns. So basically, the whole strategy is we use Raticate Super Fang on a Pokemon, like a basic Pokemon, like a tag team Pokemon, or something that just can't evolve, like a Crobat or a Dedenne or a Tapu Lele. Super Fang puts damage counters on the defending Pokemon until its remaining HP is 10. Then what we do is we go Naganadel Stinger Attack, which makes both players shuffle their prizes into their deck, and then each player puts the top three cards of their deck face down as their prize cards. So we hit a Pokemon, any basic Pokemon, leave them with 10 HP, we use Naganadel's GX Attack for a triple energy, by the way, these all work for triple energy. Then we come in with Greedon and we knock out that basic Pokemon with Turn a Profit. Since they have 10 HP left, it KOs them in, like basically instantly. And we win the game because it's a basic and it allows us to take two more prizes because of the effect of Turn a Profit. And essentially we win the game. And if we're playing against something like a VMAX focus deck, we can try to win the game by going Raticate, Stinger, knock out a tag team without using Greedon. But when we're up against those basic decks, we have the ability to use the greedent. So that is going to be the idea of the deck. So for the video course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack outs, get them over at Car Cabin. Car Cabin sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys are ever looking to get any PDCGO codes, make sure to go get them over at Car Cabin. Of course, guys, Car Cabin is selling Fusion Strike codes and any other set codes you might be looking for, like Evolving Skies or Battle Styles or Chilling Rain or Storm Show Base set. Or if you want to get IRL Pokemon TCG singles, Card Cavern does sell those too. If you get anything at Card Cavern at the checkout, use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your purchase. Help the channel help yourself out and up a Card Cavern. So shout out Card Cavern, check them out, use code LDF. This is the list I'm rocking with here. Not 100% uh, finished with the deck just yet um, overall, but it's still a pretty interesting concept nonetheless. Now, I am playing some Zoroks in the deck, uh, mainly because we are playing Skyfield and Trade can help us build up a hand. A lot of the um, already existing Checkmate decks from the past, already we're using Zorak regardless. I mean, the first ever Checkmate deck kind of that came out of this era was literally a Zorak Checkmate deck with Naganadel. But this Phantom Transformation Zorak is also good since you can turn it into Naganadel GX or Raticate, which is insane. It doesn't work with Greedon, but it works with the other two Stage 1 Pokemon. And they got Lele, Ditto, Dedenne, um... Crobat could go in here too. There's not a whole lot of room because I am putting, I'm trying to fit in other things. Toy Catcher's really good. If the opponent, you know, obviously if they're going to go down to 10 HP, they're going to want to move that Pokemon out of the active spot. So that's why we have two Toy Catchers in the deck to chase them down um, with Greedon. Then I got a Target Whistle. If they bench something that we can maybe go after. Um, and a bunch of supporters as always. Uh, teammates is really good in here because it allows us to get like the two cards we need. Got one Choice Band. If we ever have to go down the route of attacking, normally the Choice Band is there. Then we got... Uh, four triples and three DCE plus a special charge to round out the energy count. That's the list. Let's go try it out and see in action and hopefully do the checkmate combo a few times in the video. All right, let's try out this Greedon checkmate deck here with Raticate and Naganadel and see if it's going to win us a game. Now, we could begin Frabichek Urshifu judging from the deck box, which is actually kind of terrifying to be honest with you. Um, That is kind of terrifying because there is no bench protection in this deck. Bench sniping in the expanded format is really not that popular like at all so playing Mew or mr mime and expanded isn't really something that people do because it's just not really needed you know all right uh pretty good opening hand since we're going first i'll open up with ditto and then just hope it doesn't get donked here but we do have zoark which can turn into yeah, we have Zorua, which can turn into a, um, a Zoark, which can turn into a Raticate from the discard pile. So that'll have to be that then. All right, we'll see what we're playing against here. We just need him to have one basic in play. That's it. Just one basic that doesn't evolve or anything and doesn't heal. Uh, well, I guess that answers that. Doesn't look like we're playing against the world's greatest deck, I will admit. Now, I have no clue what we're supposed to be playing against here. Honestly, I'm just going to pass. I mean, I don't really have to do anything with my hand, right? We could just comp search next turn, grab Raticate. So basically, the game plan is, oh, no, they do play Urshifu. Uh-oh. And they have the immediate uh, Rapid Strike energy. Well, they might not be able to move Groudon, though. Okay. So the game plan is hit him down to 10 HP. And they Marnie us. Well, there goes our Raticate play. All right, that's annoying. Rip. Now I wish I played the quick ball knowing that they'd Marnie me. Hmm. Fine. It's annoying, but on the end of the world. 
I have to be really careful with how I do my Pokemon here because I could lose to Rapid Flow if I do Naganadel. They could take three prizes with Rapid Flow. So I have to be really careful about that. Really, really careful about that. Now... Hmm. Okay, we can get rid of the Choice Band. Grab myself Greedent here. I don't have a lot of vent space. I think we're just going to play... Um... Honestly, part of me wants to just do Layla here for Juniper, but I'm just going to do Dene. I don't know, having Dene in play is kind of sus because they're Shifu, but it's not that big of a deal. Alright, this hand's okay. We got Zoark. Plus Target Whistle. And Computer Search, which will get us Raticate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got Raticate here. And then, actually, maybe we should have gone rid of Floatstone. Anyways, let's grab Raticate. We're basically just praying we don't get KO'd here by any Pokemon. And hope they don't heal either. Alright, Super Fang. So now all we have to do is just go Naganadel, Greedent, Knockout, win the game. So we can win in two more turns if we can actually find a supporter though. That was that that's why I wanted a Juniper there, because I could have seen an extra card um instead of doing the Dene. But I was like, yeah, we can still find a supporter off the Dene and still draw like potentially like 10 plus cards. Um, but now we're not doing that because our hand is a little dead right now. Thankfully, Zork. Oh, they don't have anything. Zork is saving us, and we just drew into the Naganadel. I am gonna go for it now. I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to trade away this floatstone. It's a tough decision, but we need to draw cards here. Hmm. Well, we got Greedent. All right. Are we just about to win? We could just go. Naganadel. We do have to move the Naganadel, though, which is a bit of an issue. But I do have another float in the deck. I don't think this is going to get KO'd. Man, maybe I should have... Honestly, I was thinking about trading away the triple energy, but it's like kind of the whole point of the strategy. I could suck. They still have anything. All right, we got some time. I can always do this. Ooh, there's the Greedon. All right, we can trade. If we just get Floatstone, we just flat out win. We don't get Floatstone. So here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to attach this. And I'm going to retreat and eradicate. I'm going to pass. But they can't win with rapid flow. Right? And all we need to do next turn is just find another DC and we win the game. Now, to thin out the deck, I'm going to play quick ball here. I need to thin. We just need to find DC or triple energy to win the game if this thing is still stuck. So that's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. So we didn't win in three turns exactly, but we came close. To, well, all we literally have to do is kill this Groudon. Now, if they heal it, that's going to be a different story. But, I mean, it looks like they're just stuck. They're dead drawing. Their own Marnie backfired, and there's the triple energy. That's GG's. There we go. Turn a profit. Just like that, we win the game with Greed and Checkmate. My opponent wasn't playing the world's greatest deck, but I will say things could have gotten really hairy there if they actually were using GMAX Rapid Flow. Um, especially killing my Raditas and stuff. And most of my Pokemon are weak to fighting. Green and VMAX, my main attacker, is weak to fighting. So, honestly, we kind of dodged a bullet there. We got lucky that Groudon was stuck in the active. And we got to execute our strategy there. Alright, here we go. Trying out Greedon again. We won the coin flip, which is pretty good. Now, hopefully we can get some rats here. We'll see. Oh, well, speak of the devil. Yeah, we got it. Turn one, or turn two, Raticate. Now, we need to find triple energy. And I need to find more basics. Might get Donk. We might get donked. We got C Elixir, which is not good. Max Elixir is a pretty aggressive card, so not not good. So we need to get another basic here. I could Ultra Ball, but I, I guess I can grab Lele now. Oh, that might be Juice Zarua. A lot of trainers in our hand now. The Cinderace start is a little scary because this thing does have... Um, does evolve. I'm going to stay in the active. Not much I can really do. I'm just going to hold the hand. I mean, yeah. I could Ultra Ball for Lele or Dedenne, but obviously I'm going to hold the hand. A lot of trainers in my hand, too. I don't really want to lose. Um, so, we're just going to wait for them to bench a Pokemon that we can hit with Raticate. And then I'm going to go... Until then, I'm going to use Zoark DX to attack them, I guess, and try to whittle them down. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Not going to work. They Weldered. Oh, they could donk my Rattata here. But they only get one energy on. Never mind, that ain't gonna happen. We're safe. We need them to bench something, though. 
that uh, is easy to KO. So far, this thing will evolve. I mean, I could go Raticate on it and then just hope they don't evolve it, but that's just not going to work. And our hand is really bad. Doesn't really matter what I bring in here. I could Gust the Pidgey up. We have to lose a lot of trainers too, which I don't like. I have to grab Lele. I'm honestly tempted to just end, but even if I end them though, I'm not guaranteed to get what I'm looking for. I think Junipers is probably fine. We are losing some resources though. I will see. Yeah, I got a Juniper. I need to just draw cards. Any of them, they have a four-card hand. It's not worth it. All right, we did get the triple energy. So I am able... I am able here to go for the Super Fang. But... That's where things kind of end. Hmm. How many triples do I have? Three. Special Charge. I'm tempted to grab Greed in here. And then I could go, like, Max Gimme Gimme on this thing. Until they, like, bench a real Pokemon that we can go after. Actually, it might be fine. I have to lose something here, though. I have to lose Zorua. It's not... I mean, I could... I mean, it's just... I don't know. Because we have an Aganadel. So, like, I could have went Poipo there. And we could have went for the play. But, again, if they just evolve into a Cinderace VMAX, that just isn't going to be possible. We need to bench something that's more realistic. Not... Yeah, see, they got an Evil Winston. See? That's why I'm going Raticate there would not have done anything. That's the problem, is they have to be a basic. They can't be an evolution. I could go after the other Cinderace on the bench. This is probably not a good idea, though. I don't know. This I don't even know if we can win. We just need... The, we Well, we can win, but we need to bench a Pokemon that is actually able to be killed by Turn of Profit. Currently, there is no Pokemon on my opponent's side of the board other than this thing, but I don't know if we're going to be able to take this out in three turns before they do evolve it. We need to bench, like, an actual good basic Pokemon. Like a tag team or something. Like a Reshi Ram and Charizard. It's the only way we can get there. But it's not looking likely so far. So I don't know. We're going to have to just like max gimme gimme this. We might have to just win the game on our own terms. Which we could do. We could do. I do, have, I do have a strategy in mind to win this game. We can still checkmate them like a normal deck I guess. It'll have to be the play. We'll end him here. Yeah, we can still checkmate them as a normal deck. Okay. Um. Okay, we can grab Poipul. Yep. All right. So we'll Super Fang him. They'll knock me out. And I'll do Naganadel. As long as Naganadel doesn't get killed, which I don't think it can, we should be fine. They can't win. So we're just, we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to checkmate them the old fashioned way. If they're not gonna let us win with Turn of Profit, we're gonna have to win the game. With um, Raticate and again, Adel knock out with like Lele or Zork or something. Or Greed and also can kill them. Anything that can do 10 damage will knock them out. So we just hope they don't play any like weird healing cards, which I highly doubt. Even if they do have a healing card, they have three energy on. So like energy drive can still whack them. Not a big deal. But yeah, as long as this thing does not heal, we're fine. I do have my Toy Catcher, right? Yeah, I still have one left. So they Muscle Pan the Pidgeotto. What? Why would you do that? All right, whatever. So yeah, if we're not going to have the ability to win the game with Turn of Profit, we're going to have to win the game by doing the old-fashioned Raticate and again it'll combo on a 3 prizer to win the game in that way. They'll probably retreat here, I imagine. They could stay in the active. It doesn't really matter if they do or not. It doesn't really matter. They could... I was gonna say. That's not how counter works, bro! No! Alright, whatever. Um, that's actually kind of annoying because now I don't have... Bro... That's actually really bad for us. Because now I don't have the ability to go teammates for Naganadel. Oh my god. Dude. That's annoying. I mean, I guess we can just wait a turn. Our hand's actually real. Our, actually, you know what? Yeah, our hand's literally perfect. We have teammates plus Toy Catcher. I'll just pass. We'll let him KO my rat. This thing already did its job. Again, as long as they don't heal this thing, we can still win. Which I don't think they will heal it. I mean, they could. They play any healing cards, but I doubt they do. They are going to boss me here, though. They actually take out Lele. Which is really, honestly, not needed because, like, I'm just going to put the prizes to three anyways. I don't know. Like, Lele, losing Lele kind of sucks, actually, because I don't have a rescue stretcher. But as long as we have a way to do 10 damage, it doesn't matter. So, that's fine. And then we can go... Ooh, Ultra Ball's good. So, we can just go teammates for, again, like, Adele plus, like, DCE. And as long as we don't lose our hand, we just win. So, we're going to go Stinger. Well, I guess, hmm, Nagendel doesn't die. But as long as I can't win the game in one turn, it doesn't really matter. We do Stinger. 
We can just beast raid him too, right? So I just grab the energy. We can beast raid him. Because Nagandel is an ultra beast. So that we'll have to just checkmate him the old fashioned way. I, I can't believe they threw the game though by not. I mean, I guess they didn't throw because no matter what, we wanted Raticate to get KO'd. So them not KO me kind of delayed the inevitable. As long as we keep our hand here or we find a Guzma off of a, a, a shuffle, we can still go a toy catcher for game. No matter what, we should win. As long as they cannot take two prizes in one turn. I really don't think they can. I don't think they can take two. I don't think they can take two prizes or two knockouts, sorry, in one turn. Unless they have like, I don't know, like the new heat more. Yeah, they can switch all they want. Doesn't matter. As long as we keep our hand, we have game. And that's game. They don't even knock out mine again, Adele. Which is kind of what I expected because they don't do enough damage with uh, Max Pyro Ball. That is GG's. We could just go attach. Boy catcher. And beast raid for 20 damage. Knock him out. We couldn't do the greed and play there because they didn't have a basic. But this strategy also works by doing Raticate plus Naganadel. That also gets the job done perfectly well. Okay, we lost the coin flip in the next game. Let's see if we can pull off another greed and play. I mean, if we're not doing greed and we can still go Raticate, Naganadel, knock out a tag team. Or VMAX. Doesn't matter too much. All right, we'll see what we're playing against here. That's a mulligan. Doesn't really give away what we're playing. My opponent's looking at this like, Zork, toy catcher, bro. The new meta. The new meta. Kind of crazy how Zork kind of got power crept out of Expanded. I mean, it's still like not a bad deck. If you can pair it with like a good card, it's just crazy to think about. Our start is, hmm, fine, I guess. We get the Poipole down right away. Mm, this would have been a really good hand going first, however, because I could have gotten the Raticate in play. Ooh, we're up against Malamar. I want to establish Zork GX then, so I can trade. All right, we'll see if they bench something. Again, if they're just going to go Malamar VMAX, we're going to have to go the old-fashioned route of Raticate and Aganadel Knockout um, instead of doing Greedent. But, I mean, it's whatever the ladder wants to throw at me. If the ladder wants to throw at me basic decks or decks that use basics that I can turn a profit, so be it. If not, so be it. They're playing Eternatus. All right, it, it, we're going to have to do the Raticate combo, it looks like. That's fine. Well, they might bench a Crobat. Again, it all. You know what I can do? I can quick ball with Zoark. And grab a Rattata. I can actually just hold the hand for a turn. We literally have the perfect hand. Other than the two basics are mixed up, I'd rather have Rattata on the active, but they didn't attach energy, so it's unlikely they can kill my Poipal. But I can actually probably just go Raticate here and Naganadel and then Lele for uh, Guzmahala. But then I need to find a supporter. I don't want to. I don't want to eradicate this thing because if it evolves, then we're screwed. They could knock me out. They would have to get like an insane switch dark patch combo, but that's very unlikely. We should be fine. Hmm. I might just evolve. Again, it's a lot more tankier. Obviously, there's a the Moltres. All right, we could try to go after Moltres and Crobat, but the problem is, I don't know. I don't have the play. Okay. Let's see. We draw. DC's a pretty good top deck. I could just do this. Okay. We can play Skyfield. Doesn't really matter because they have turned us anyways. Uh, play Raticate, and then I will drop the Tapu Lele. I'm just gonna Juniper. We have like one extra turn. Naganda might not die. I can always retreat into like something small, like a Zorua or like a Ditto. So we can do this and see what we get. All right, we got Ditto. So. I'm going to retreat into Ditto here. But if Ditto gets stuck, we have computer search though, so it doesn't matter. Fine. Ditto could get stuck for a turn if they don't attack me. I don't even know they're going to attack me here. Now, I could go Guzma this turn, and I can Guzma up the Moltres and attack it with Raticate, which I might actually go for. Um, never mind, they play a Marnie. That is very annoying. And there goes our hand. Our hand was really good too. We had the triple energy in the come on. I mean, the teammates. Damn. All right, don't punch me, Marnie. I said, don't punish me. Why does Marnie every bro, even an expanded bro, really? All right, well, we might still be safe. I can still go trade here. Well, that's annoying. I mean, they still have to move Malamar. I can just do trade. But mind you, I okay, if Zora gets KO'd, actually it actually doesn't matter too much because we're going to reset the prizes anyways. So it's like, that's another cool thing is you can reset the prizes with this deck anyway. So it doesn't matter what really happens. Though it is annoying, and then I do have to do that because Marnie's even an expanded. Oh, they have the switch. No. Oh my god, that was the worst case scenario. Knock me out, and I'm bricking. Dude, Marnie. How does that even do in an expanded? All right, we need a VS Seeker. We need an M. We need a teammate. We need a Chorus. We need a, a ball searching card. Any of those cards will get us into a better hand here. The problem is, 
Eternus V Max is not what we're trying to go after. Unless it evolves, but it didn't evolve. But if it did evolve, I could have said we go after it. That's annoying. They literally got the perfect hand. The switch goof <laughs> off of a Marnie, bro, really. And the brick hand. That's like some that's really good luck right there. Okay. We're still bricking. We're gonna have to sacrifice a greed in here. That's really annoying, but I have to do it because they got a lucky... They got a really lucky Marnie on me. I could evolve into the Green of VMAX, but if it takes damage, right? And then I go in again, they can just gust KO it for the game. So I have to wait to evolve it. Damn, bro. The Marnie. The Marnie cheese. Okay, they're gonna Marnie me again. Perfect. It's fine. I can't... Marnie and Expanded should not be that good because of Via Seeker and all the ball searches, but... Apparently it is. That is the power of this card. We're still bricking. What? Yo, where, where, how, where, how have I not seen a card that can draw me cards? What? Okay, they don't have a KO. They still don't even have the VMAX. I want them to go VMAX here. I have Guzma. If I can draw a triple energy. Hold on. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the Dene, which is in the deck, right? I saw it, yep. I'm going to go, we're going to gust up the Valerian Moltres V. Because one, it could get stuck. Two... So gonna, it's going to be our super fang target. All right, we just need triple energy. We didn't get it. Hmm. Not good. Uh, I don't play Crobat. Can't really get rid of Toy Catcher here. I'm going to Ultra Ball. We're going to have to get rid of Teammates and Choice Band. Grab a Zoruba so we can try to get Trade Online. That sucks. Now I wish I float stone the uh, the uh, Greedent. Gonna have to go back to Greedent for the time being. Damn, bro. The luck is not on our side this match. We just need a triple energy there to hit this, and then we could have just toy catchered it. That sucks. Our hand was perfect there had we just had the triple energy, because we could have just went teammates once they kill Eradicate, right? So then I could have went triple energy. We had the toy catcher. So that's not good. Now, I could have gambled and hoped they didn't KO my Eradicate and kept the Mulch in the active, and I was tempted to, but I have a bad feeling they're still gonna find a switch. I don't want to take that risk. I need to get another Eradicate in play, though, because they could knock it out. Did they not have a switch? Did they actually whiff it? I think it was worth it, though, to not risk it, though, to be honest. Yeah, I think it was still worth not risking the uh, switch there. If we lose Eradicate, our whole strategy comes apart. I don't really have much of a choice. It just sucks that had to happen. Yeah, they didn't move it. Damn it. Okay, uh, we can trade here. I gotta get rid of Stretcher, though. Card I don't want to lose. Do we have any other cards we could play? I could Guzma. No. I only have another. I got. We have to get rid of the stretcher. I don't want to because they can't eradicate. I don't have a way to get it back. There's a triple. They kill my greed in here. I could do that, or I could Guzma next turn. The problem is I need to keep that via seeker for teammates or Juniper. If I can find Chorus, that'd be great. Chorus is really good here, but I could go after Crobat now. However. And they play Umbreon. Oh my god, they do play Umbreon. I was scared of that too. They Marnie me again? Whoa, where are they getting these Marnies from? Okay. Um, I'm looking for Floatstone plus Triple Energy. Or we can still go Guzma on Crobat. Perfect. Oh my god, this hand is insane. Okay, Marnie. After those after those first two Marnies gave me trash, this gave me literally a perfect hand. There's the switch play. We're going to have to Guzma here. It's fine though. I am a little worried about the Umbreon though, not going to lie. Um... So why do I want to get a stretcher? Because now I don't have Phantom Transformation. If we lose Naganado, we're not going to be able to enact our plan. Play a Line Noon. Okay, what? They have one card in their hand. Is it anything good? It is not. Now, hmm. I think I do want to go after Crobat here because... If I go after Crobat, they might not be able to move it. Well, they just need to retreat. I should... I think I still always should go after Moltres. But what if the Moltres knocks itself out and then I can't do my strategy? I guess I could still like KO a goon or something to win the game. Well, let's do let's do trade, get rid of Vault Ball. Probably actually what I should have done before I did the Via Seeker. Not really matter. So I can Guzma here, bring in Moltres, hit it down low. They have no energy to discard. Or I can go after Crobat and they have a one card hand. But what, what if they play the Crobat V Max? If they play the Crobat V Max though, I can knock him out with like trade with well. Going after Crobat makes him have an energy here. 
go after Moltres, they just retreat. They don't need much to... But, I mean, it doesn't matter regardless. I think I should just go after Moltres. It doesn't really matter, because even if, like, the Corvette needs one energy, they already have the U-turn powered up. I think it's better just go after the Moltres here and just, like, yeah, attack the Moltres. I mean, the, the, the worst they can do is knock itself out, but if they do that, I can just KO Goon for game anyways. We can't evolve that heavily damaged Greenant, though, because, obviously, it gets knocked out. There's the E-turn, yeah, see. Maybe I should have went to Crobat, but if they have an energy in their hand, it won't matter. Do they have a support or they don't? All right, Dread End, all right, 260, not even a big deal. And I can go teammates. How many triples? I still have bear triples. Okay. So I can go Stinger. My hand is so good. Honestly, I could just Chorus instead. Or I can Chorus next turn. Well, let's see we draw. There's Float. Okay. Get rid of this. Let's see what we get. Special charge is good. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a Seeker. The teammates. Teammates is kind of the, the big play we got to do anyways. So we're just going to go... We have comp search, right? We can go triple. I can go triple plus. I don't know. Now, thankfully, they don't have it. Okay, I was worried. If, they, if we had low HP Pokemon to play, they could have won by going like Obstagoon, knockout, take three prizes, but that's not going to happen. So, question is, what are my teammates for? I can get triple. I do have to be mindful of those. Mm, the Marnie, which they might play another one. So I should probably grab. Something that I might not need as much. Like a Zarua, which we can evolve into a Zork if they Marnie me, so I can draw more cards. Alright, that's fine. As long as we keep our hand. Um, I'm not gonna play special charge, actually. I don't think I need to. I'm just gonna Stinger. And we have almost game. We just need to find Greedent, Toy Catcher, and an energy to win. We have a chorus, which could draw us a we have Zork plus Chorus. We're almost seeing our whole deck. Thanks to both of us having a massive bench of eight Pokemon, which is funny. All right, no Marnie. That's good. As long as they don't bump my stadium. If they do that, though, we're still drawing like a jillion cards because of their bench. Turnitus, that's fine. Their bench is full. I was hoping they'd bench other Pokemon for me. Do they have an Umbreon, though? They could go Umbreon here, but what do they even knock out, though? What is their... What would be their ideal Umbreon target, though, right? Yep. All right. All we have to do is go Toy Catcher, Greed, and VMAX, Energy to win the game. Now, the question is, how do I sequence this? That's the question. Okay. I don't think it matters what I promote here. Because no matter what, we're going to... They have one prize left to take. So it's basically do or die. That was the perfect top deck. All right. Well, we can just do this. And then I can computer search. If I go trade plus comp search. Which I am going to do. I don't want to get rid of the special charge. I might play special charge. I can pure search for green and special charge energy back. Or we draw the green and or we do we, we just draw the win. We just we drew the win flat out. We didn't even have to do the chorus play. All right. Well, that works too. <laughs> All right. There we go. I was going to say, because I want to know what I get because I might have to go computer search for either an energy or green. Um, I was probably going to get green with comp search because we had the special charge plus chorus to get energy back. And Zork. I'm pretty sure we were going to win regardless there because of all the cards we could have seen thanks to Trade plus Chorus plus Comp Search plus Special Charge guaranteeing us basically everything in the deck we would need to win the game. But there we go. Greedent checkmate on turned his VMAX. Had they not benched Moltres, we might have had to reenact a different strategy, but I guess they were always going to bench a Crobat V there for us to chase. So we will take it. And that'll be that. All right, we're going second again, but that's fine though. We've been going second the whole time and it's been totally normal. And our start's pretty good. This hand would have been really good if we went first, but it's all good. Put him in a nice going first hand, but we'll see what we're playing against. All right, there's our greed in target. Oh, it takes 20 less damage from attacks, though. But that's fine, though. We still do 10 damage with turn of profit, which is enough to KO them. Speaking of which, we're going to get rid of greed in here. I'm going to grab a Rattata. And then I'm going to pass. We'll see what happens. I don't know if they're playing, but hey, the slower their setup is, the better, because that gives us more time to set up ourselves. There's a lady... Sure, I imagine they're playing... My opponent's probably playing Hydreigon. But our game plan is still the same. We uh, take out the Darkrai here. Oh, DC. Okay, you know what? I don't mind them killing me there, even though I do Zork. Now we can... We don't have to worry about finding a Float Stone. Meet at the process of winning. Okay, so Evil Incense. Eradicate. As long as they don't heal this thing, right? That's all that matters. Even if they do heal it, we can still... Well, no, we have to hope they don't heal it. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. We don't want them to heal. It was a special charge, kind of sucks, but it's for the greater good. Now, I'm actually going to do a Juniper here because I want to draw the extra card. We need to still get basics. I can go Juniper into a Dedene, which will be the play. 
Hopefully. It is the play. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely the play. We can quick ball. Grab Greedent. I can Ultra Ball here. Get rid of Zoark. I need to find Stretcher. Do we have Naganda on the deck? We do. Do I have Stretcher? I do. Grab Dedenne. Honestly, I don't even really need Dedenne, to be honest. But I think maybe I should just grab Zora over there. I didn't even really do Dedenne. But doesn't matter. We got Zora anyways. And Super Fang. The next turn, I can get Naganadel, and then I can grab... Or I can Zork into Zork, which I'll probably just end up doing. Yeah, they just... I gotta hope they're not playing healing cards. That's that's the plan. Hope they don't heal this Darkrai, which so far, so good. But I can Goose Mahala here if I want, but the problem is... I don't want to do that. All right, let's just see we draw. Hmm. Maybe Goose Mahala is on the table. No, I still have the no, I think it were my whole hand. No, it's not gonna work. Got the juniper. I don't want to lose a toy catcher. I still have another one, right? Do I have another toy catcher? Yeah, I do. I have Gooseman still. As long as toy catcher doesn't go in the discard pile. Again, it should survive a turn two, which is good. It's not weak to dark, it's weak to psychic. Wish I had N here. N would have been really nice. I mean, their deck isn't the greatest, but I imagine they're gonna get a Hydreigon soon. Do we find the triple? Ooh, we don't get the triple energy. Hmm. That was a pretty big whiff. Still gonna do Phantom Transformation as Zoark. Try to draw an extra card. I was actually gonna wait to do that, but again, I don't even think Naganadel's gonna get KO'd here. Um, and again, I'm gonna get rid of... Wickball? We don't really need that. Alright, come on. Give me a triple energy. High roll, baby. Let's go. And I'm just gonna float. Alright. That should be checkmate. We're gonna win in three turns if all goes well. I think that was three turns. Yep, three turns. Okay, kill my Zora. All I have to do now is just find green and win the game. That's it. That should be that. We got trade on our side. We got lucky we found that. If somehow they KO'd me with like Dreaden or something, I wouldn't have been able to go with the... Uh, I was going to save the Phantom Transformation um, for the Naganadel, but it paid off. And they don't even retreat. Okay, why would they not retreat? All right, whatever. I don't even need to find what I'm... I, I just need to find greed and We have one in the discard though, so... The odds aren't like super duper high, but... We'll make do with what we got. All we have to do is find Greedin. That's all we gotta do. Gotta get the Greedin. Can we find it? Don't. Hmm. Drant. Again, thin. It's in there. We have... So, we have three outs to Greedin here off of a trade. Three outs to a Greedin. Oh. Here goes nothing. Oh, we don't need Ratata anymore. Actually, we don't have Field Blower, right? They could put a tool on. Give her a Skyfield, whatever. We have three outs to Greedent. Can we find it? No! Now I can't win in three turns. No clickbait title. Oh, dang it. We got Toy Catcher, though. So if they try to retreat, I can Toy Catcher. Oh, man. All I needed was Greedent there. We would have won the game in three turns. Hate to see it. We almost won in three turns, though. The title does not lie. Damn it, though. That's fine. We, um... We should have it next turn, right? Yeah, we're guaranteed our whole deck. Such so a game. Okay. Yeah, they finally retreat. I don't know why they didn't do that last turn. They should. That's what they should have done. Though I did get Toy Catcher. So if I got Green plus Toy Catcher, we would have won. That's game. Right? Should it be game. We are seeing our whole deck here. So. We won in four turns. Not three. You know what? We would have won in three turns. The odds actually weren't too bad for Greedin. It's going to be Greedin. Watch. Not Greedin. Ooh, I got lucky. All right, whatever. So let's just go Toy Catcher, the Darkrai, via Seeker for Juniper. Draw our whole deck. And that'll be GG. Grab the Greedent. Where are you at, Greedent? There you are, baby. And turn a profit. 10 damage. Knock it out. Win the game in one attack. There you go. We almost won in three turns. It was close, but we'll take it. Anyways, I'm going to wrap the video, guys, with those matches. Um, Yeah, the deck. That's advertised what it does. It can win in four turns. It can win in three turns. It can win in four turns. You can win the game really easily with this deck. I like it a lot. There are some changes I think I do want to make after playing with the deck today. I think there are definitely cards you could add and cut out. Um, I think the big one is to probably add another Zorua to the deck or even honestly a second Zoark. I think we should play a second Zoark in the deck. You could add Gladian. So I think what I would do, I'd probably cut the Target Whistle. I would cut Target Whistle... 
I would probably cut the Choice Band, too. That was kind of useless. I would cut Target Whistle plus Choice Band. The Choice Band's good, though, if they put on, like, a Fighting Fury Belt or something on a GX Pokemon for Greedent. But you could probably cut the Choice Band out and Target Whistle. You could add another Zoark and then maybe add, like, a, a second again Adele into the deck. Um, that's what I would change about the list. There you go. That's my updated list. That's what I would change after recording the video. Uh, but other than that, yeah, really cool deck. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Tell me on the road to reaching... Um, 24k subs we're very or 23k subs sorry we're very close we are less than 200 subscribers off of 23k subs if you have not subbed yet hit that sub button right now uh check out my socials down below check out my twitch check out my twitter check out my check out my patreon check out my myspace check out my facebook check out my tiktok check out all my socials jokes i don't have any of those actually i do have a tiktok i don't post with those anymore i gave up on that but maybe i will tiktok's a good way to get it like your name out there but anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed uh check out car cabin use called yeah and i will see you guys tomorrow peace out